In today's video, we're going to be designing not so traditional holiday characters. I'm talking girls wearing deer heads, snowman bimbos, and nope, surprisingly, that third one isn't blood. <laughs> To start off, we're going to talk about the reindeer girl character because I don't think you guys are quite ready for the sketch that started this series of illustrations. Might need to ease you guys into it a little bit because, well, she's naked. So anyways, this character is the second character I sketched for this series of illustrations. And originally going into this, I wanted a set of three characters that represented maybe different moods of the holidays. So maybe someone who isn't super into the holidays, someone who is way too into the holidays, and then someone who just kind of feels meh about the holidays. So originally this character started off as a sexy reindeer girl. She was jumping, she was very energetic, and her pose was very dynamic, but I realized that I just really don't want dynamic poses. I know this is probably going to sound very strange, but most people know my art style as being geometric and pushing shapes of bodies and faces and exaggeration. Almost stiff, but also energetic at the same time. I really love simple and flat character designs. I love bold colors, but I don't like a lot of detail. So going into this set of illustrations, I really had to tone down wanting to add details for some reason. I wanted to draw a certain way, but I didn't like the way it looked, so I needed to sort of reel myself back and simplify things, and I still don't think I simplified them enough, but I do really enjoy these illustrations, so let's talk about our reindeer girl. So as you can already tell, I decided to go with a sort of pin up -y character who's wearing a sort of playboy bunny-like outfit, except obviously we're going to theme it on the holidays, so it's a fuzzy deer costume, and I really, for some reason, wanted to draw a deer head. I just really had this silly looking deer head in my mind, and I wanted to draw it, so instead of, I don't know, giving this girl a sidekick character, I just decided to plop a reindeer head on her head and make it weird. Why not? Let's just make it weird. At this point, I was really leaning into the whole these are Christmas themed illustrations but obviously they have a very strange and weird and different spin on them that you wouldn't normally expect around the holidays you know when you think of holidays you don't think sexy girl you don't think play bunny and you certainly don't think about somebody putting a deer head over their head like like it's a mask but here we are Creating strange, unusual illustrations, but having a lot of fun with it is just something I really enjoy about art. So here we are. We have this strangely sexy, deer-headed girl. When it came to the objects floating around her, I actually just started off with your basic Christmas themed treats. We have cookies, candy canes. I was starting to put in gumdrops and then it morphed into a cup of warm milk because you know, cookies. And then I thought, okay, milk and cookies is something that you leave out for Santa on Christmas Eve. And we have a deer character, so she needs some carrots. So I also threw in some carrots with the milk and cookies and candy canes. So I'm calling this girl Santa's little helper. Uh, take that as you will. Again, I just really wanted to draw some bodies and when you cover bodies up with clothes, you don't get to focus on the bodies, so it's not as fun. And you know what else is fun? Putting deer heads on people and having blood drip out because that's definitely a Christmassy thing. I mean, hey, I'm not the first person to make a sort of spooky Christmas themed thing. There are movies that are horror Christmas, Nightmare Before Christmas, Krampus, Die Hard. Not all Christmas things have to be wholesome, right? So that is how I ended up with this sexy reindeer girl. And um, yeah, I think the colors are very fun. They're earthy, they're brown, they're green, a little red. It's very Christmassy in a way. <laughs> Our next character is based off of Frosty the Snowman. I knew I wanted to create a very round, shapely character because snowmen obviously are based off of round, circular balls of snow. They're very round, they're very 
round. So I wanted to create a character with a lot more curves, a little bit more weight on their bones. So at first I was going for a curvy girl and I just wasn't getting anything that I liked. And then I started to think, well, why does big and round have to be fat? It could be muscular. So I started to sketch a muscular character and the next thing you know, my Twitch chat and I were getting way into the idea of this character being a himbo, which I feel like is kind of a fad thing right now in the art community. People are very obsessed with himbos. If you don't know, I've been getting into streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Casey the Golden, same as always, links are in the description. I've been really enjoying working on my illustrations or emotes or just coming up with ideas with my chat because you guys can be so creative and when we all work together and create these dumb ideas like a snow himbo. Also, I have to say the runner up name for this character was going to be a snow bro. We come up with some really great names. So I knew we had to name this character some sort of pun. It had to be a pun to do with snow or cold, but also he just looked like a Chad character. He kind of looked douchey, but I'm not the most creative at coming up with names. So I asked my Twitch chat what we should name this character. Next thing you know, Stabo18 is coming in with a Brad, as in it's cold in here, Brad. Get it? Our minds were blown. We couldn't handle Brad. I just, the name alone makes me love this character. And basically it was a love at first sight. So we have this thick boy, he's wearing a crop top. He's wearing the shortest of shorts because when I think of a snowman character, obviously snow is very temperature based. So we have this character who is very sensitive to temperature. He's very hot. He is literally melting. He is sweaty. He's falling apart. He's wearing as little clothes as he can in public before he gets in trouble. He's just trying to stay as cool as he can. He's waving his hand, trying to keep himself from melting. He is a sweaty mess, but he's, he's doing his best. <laughs> Hey, wait, I've never seen that before. I'm a sweaty mess, but I'm doing my best. That is me. I'm always sweaty. So when it came to the clothing of this character, I really wanted to give them an 80s sort of feel with bright colors and shapes because of the crop top, I was thinking the 80s. But at the same time, I really wanted to keep this character Christmassy based with red and green. I wanted to tie all of these characters together by using the same colors. And I just wasn't going to get that vibe, that same 80s colorful neon vibe with those colors. So in the end, I did settle with just a simple pattern on the shirt, but I do think this character turned out super cute. I mean, I'm sure they're very fashionable, so he's probably got a whole wardrobe I can switch out if I ever want to draw this character again. The very last detail I added was just a little bit of snow texture by using a splatter brush in Procreate, and I think it added a nice snowy texture, and I also dusted some snow on top of Brad. I just thought it was a cute little detail. He is a lot more simple than the other two characters, so I think it really brings them together. Love Brad. He's great. Our third and final character started off as a self-portrait. If you can't tell right off the bat, we have my signature square nose. This was originally just going to be a mindless doodle, something that I was trying to draw as I felt like not drawing. I know I'm not the only one out there who just feels absolutely no motivation to work on personal art. It just feels so hard to do anything creative. But as someone who likes to draw in their free time, wh what else am I going to do? I feel like if I can't push myself to draw during these times, what what am I even going to do? So I try to push through it. This started off as just an emotional doodle, just the way I was feeling at the moment, just kind of drained, tired, mentally exhausted, not creative. And then I got the idea to create a set of illustrations. And obviously that turned into this, a set of three characters who were inspired by the holidays. I used to love Christmas, but these days I just haven't been super into it, obviously probably because this year hasn't been the best. So we already had our character who wasn't super into Christmas and that's when I moved on to the reindeer character who was going to be super excited for Christmas. And then we turned into a different, I guess, themed illustrations based off of certain things from the holidays. We have our reindeer, we have our snowmen, and now we have 
Well, I, I actually wasn't sure what this was going to be when I went into it. Again, this is where Twitch chat comes in. You guys are so helpful when it comes to brainstorming and just bouncing ideas around. I opened this doodle up and was working on maybe adding some details to it. I think I started off by just putting a ribbon around her body. One thing led to another and we decided that this was going to represent the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future. Because why not? It might be a bit of a stretch, but we got things working. So our character is wrapped around in ribbon because she is currently being visited by the ghost of Christmas present. Hence the, the, the bow. The future ghost is the tiny baby ghost because babies come in the future. The ghost of Christmas present is of course the ghost with the bow on its head, super cute. And the ghost of Christmas past is our old man ghost in the bottom corner. Originally he was not supposed to be peeping and creeping on her butt, but I didn't want all of the ghosts in the same corner. So I put the old man ghost down there and I had him looking upwards. And next thing you know, everybody's saying the old man is a creeper ghost and he's checking out her but which honestly it's still pretty cute i mean look at his little old wrinkly face going into this one i knew i wanted to decorate with some sort of christmasy plant going around the character originally i was going to just have a lot of floral stuff and leafage and plants just going explosively all around this character but as i worked on the other sketches i decided to keep it a little bit more on the simple side and have it as a simple garlandy holly whatever the heck this sort of plant is that i seem to draw a lot in my art and it was just really fun to have the ghosts transparent and interacting with the plants the ribbons were also a lot of fun i really didn't have an idea of them being linked linear and connecting all into one ribbon around her body but in the end I connected them all and I think it looks really fun. If you're still wondering why she's naked I like I said I just really was in the mood to draw some bodies and exaggerate the form of bodies and stuff like that and overall to be honest I just really like to draw people almost naked. You know there's artists out there who are super focused on fashion they like to draw clothes in like crazy fashion or shoes etc accessories. Well, I, I like to draw naked people, so that's just, that's just how it is. And that is our third and final character, the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Why? I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed these unusual holiday character designs. I had a lot of fun creating these characters and I'll definitely be putting them in my Redbubble shop for prints and stuff. So check that out. Again, link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay golden. But before I go, I'm back because I got to give a huge thank you to my patrons for all of their support. You guys are seriously the best. Do you want early access to my videos, secret sketches, coloring pages, and more? Check out the link to my Patreon in the description. Seriously, thank you guys all so, so much for the support. Bye.